Okay, we're rolling anytime. Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda, and today we have Frank Burkett of the Frank Burkett Band with us. Hello. Uh, welcome. You've driven up from down uh, south somewhere? Yeah, Wellington, basically. Well, Wellington. We've come up, and it's just as hot there as it is here. It is hot, isn't it? We're hot a little sweaty. We've got the fan going. We're doing the best we can to survive, but you know what? As much as people complain about the yeah. hot weather, I love it. <laughs> I know, we'll miss it. We'll miss it when it's gone. Oh, yeah. Uh, you won't hear me complain. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you for making the trip up here. Oh, pleasure. Um, pleasure. you got an album, new album coming out. It's called Raconteur. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just get, for folks who are not familiar with you, uh, you live in Wellington, but you're originally from Scotland. That's true. So, so you moved here, what, in 2014? Um, yeah, well done. Been doing your homework. Uh, a little bit. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I got Mar sent stuff. <laughs> March 2014, and Cara and I, who Cara's in the band, yep. and, and my partner in life. And uh, we moved in, in 2014 from Edinburgh. Right. And uh, loving it ever since. And we formed the band about four years ago, well, three and a half when we arrived. Um, Dusty. Bernal on the mandolin, James Gillock on bass, poached him from the jazz school in Wellington. Nice one. And we've kind of um, gone from there. And the, the band's kind of almost morphed from a sort of the folk background that I had. Right. To kind of um, taking a lot of influence from the jazz scene in Wellington, you know. And yeah. the, um, so it's kind of a lot more bluesy, jazzy kind of. Uh, Swings a little more. Huh? It's like it's like I'm a folky that's had my head turned by the jazz scene. You right, know? right. And if that makes sense. But, um, so yeah, no, but we've been loving New Zealand yeah. since we've been here. What's it's not been to very, love, yeah. yeah, I know, and it's been really good to us. And um, yeah. And so tell me a little bit about the the folky stuff that you were doing before you came to New Zealand. Um, so that? yeah, so um, for about kind of ten years or so um, in Edinburgh, I kind of cut my teeth as a kind of eighteen year old in the pubs, in the sessions. And right. I used to run a lot of sessions, and then I did a, a couple. Of, I did some touring. I toured New Zealand about ten years ago with a different group, and just sort of me as a solo act. And then um, I've always kind of loved that kind of storytelling um, through song and and I just kind of, but I never really took it sort of, um, it, I think I cranked up another notch when I moved out here yeah. and I don't know if that was something to do with the New Zealand psyche or I suddenly just sobered up, I don't know, <laughs> probably that. It's possible. Um, but yeah, no, it was great. And um, so yeah, but I, I very much kind of, the, the sessions in the pub, you know, yeah. and we're, we're very much where I learned a lot of the stuff. Uh, so, which is actually neatly why the album is called Rack on Tour because it's, it's based on um, a chap called Martin Boland who's a great mentor of mine and when I was 18 he gave me my first sort of chance to sing in public you know as one of my own songs and sadly he kind of died earlier this year so I kind of wrote it as a wee tribute to him because he was so encouraging to so many young folkies in right. Scotland so yeah um, but that's why it's called Rack on Tour the album yeah excellent well, uh, we're going to hear a few songs. The, f and the first one that we have up is something called The Birds Up Above, mm. which, of course, isn't on the album. It's not. We actually, it's one that didn't make the album. We yeah. recorded it, and we tried really hard and spent a lot of time trying to make it work, but it yeah. just didn't quite. Sometimes you just get songs that don't quite work in time. Yeah. It's quite a new song, so we thought we'd... But we've always loved doing it just live, and right. I think it's... Um, and, yeah, it's basically my little song about how climate change is coming to get us all. <laughs> and maybe a little bit aimed at the cynics, you know. Uh, yes. Um, but well, I just saw Roger Waters a little while ago, who yeah, had, yeah. you know, a very kind of political, oh, right, uh, yeah. anti-Trump, you know, rant in the middle oh, of his he? show. It was <laughs> pretty full on. Amazing, but uh, how do you feel about, you know, that kind of, uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's not, there's nothing more to say really, is there? About, about him. <laughs> he gets weird. too much coverage, and um, we shouldn't give him any more. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's kind of it's more sort of this song. The birds in New Zealand, that's why there's a bird element to it. Right. Because it actually cheers me up a lot. Whenever I think about the depressing state of the world, mm. actually New Zealand's native birds really do. Yeah. And, and I, we live in Kelburn and Wellington, and yeah. the Zealandia sanctuary is right there. Uh, and all the birds fly around. So we have cacas and tuis and all the native birds fly Do you have the wood around. pigeons down there? Yeah, Keru, yeah. yeah, there's lots and lots. And then they land on our telegraph pole, and they're, they're just amazing birds. So they chill me out a lot. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> all righty, well, let's give that a listen. The birds up above, and then we'll come back and talk to more. From the high and mighty 
I try in vain. Through all my frustration and my pain, I always look the other way when I'm knocked off my feet. Well, I'm tired and I want to come home to your love. Yes, I'm tired. I've had more than enough. Yes, I'm tired. Push has come to shove. can't believe they're still letting you breathe because it seems to me that you're just taking up speed well it's getting too hot and this world's gonna rot and whether you believe it or not there's no hiding place well i'm tired and i want to come home to your love yes i'm tired i've had more than Yes, I'm tired. A push has come to shove. Well, I want to whistle high with the birds up above. So why not waste a little more time? We're all going under when the water Your weak ass knees, there's plenty more to come. I'm tired and I want to come home to your love. Yes, I'm tired. I've had more than enough. Yes, I'm tired. A push has come to shove. Well, I want to whistle high with the birds up above. We're all going under when the water climbs. Why not waste a little more time? We're all going under when the water climbs. We're here with the Frank Burkett Band, and we have the very own Frank Burkett right next to me here. <laughs> uh, we're listening to some tunes that we just heard, the birds up above. And the next one, uh, speaking of birds, is an Andrew Bird song. It is. Uh, um, Andrew Bird, the Chicago musician who uh, obviously you feel some uh, yeah, respect and um, affinity for. It was a few, few years back, a friend of mine introduced me to his album, Oh the Grandeur, which was Andrew Bird and the Bowl of Fire, which uh -huh. was kind of his stuff that he did, I think, in the late 90s, I think. And um, it's a bit different to what he does kind of solo, but um, it just blew me away. And his, his fiddling, his arrangements, his kind of quirkiness. Um, and this is a song called Cock of the Walk, which it just was a bit of fun, you know, and we, as a band doing it, we've always really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's, it's a very Americana sounding, yeah, yeah. especially with the mandolin and the, the double bass and all that. Absolutely, um, yeah. So what draws you to that sound? It, it I think, uh, it probably began, um, so I started very much with this kind of Scottish and Irish trad in the pubs in Edinburgh that was, and then through, I've discovered kind of American folk music through Tim O'Brien, uh -huh. who's a big hero of mine again. And he kind of mixes a lot of the Celtic stuff with his bluegrass kind of background. Right. Well, well and then, is there actually the origin of all that bluegrass stuff and Appalachian is it, from it, that part of the world yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so there's a clear link as yeah. Tim O'Brien goes on about a lot. and and. Um, and yeah, that was it really. And then through bluegrass, I kind of, I kind of, you know, if I'm being honest, got through my bluegrass phase quite quickly. Right. And then discovered more. And I used to, to love the crooners. And so I kind of, 
always had a kind of Frank Sinatra always been a big hero as well. I used to sit in my in my bedroom and croon along to all his albums <laughs> when I was like 15 years old. Right, it was weird. Right. And um, and that was kind of that must have made you very popular. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, have, didn't have many friends that did the same thing, but they were all like learning Zeppelin riffs. Right. And I was just like with a tux on in a mirror crooning. Yeah. yeah. Right. But um, I was a bit of a weird kid. <laughs> but um, yeah. And then so I always kind of had that jazz kind of that sort of background and then obviously um the more i got into the kind of through bluegrass and started to discover things like more contemporary bands i guess like the devil makes three and the wood brothers i don't know if you know them no, I don't. wood brother chris wood's a great jazz bass player um Modesky martin and wood oh right yeah, yeah and and wood he has a brother oliver wood and they have a band called the wood brothers who are just like new orleans mm -hmm. kind of ah, oh, and the, the groove you know it just it gets me that rhythm and that groove so i guess that's right and, and andrew bird this song in particular fits into that but obviously i andrew bird in general is a bit is a bit different you can't really put andrew bird in a yeah. box can you he's no he's bird so in the box no no, no. <laughs> but we can't listen to the song we can let's do that we'll listen to conquer the walk and come back and uh, finally get one of the songs from the album yeah. <laughs> my feathers and look real mean be the old man at this here scene i'm a strutting green and bantam rooster looking for a fight i mean i'm looking for a fight I hold on there partner my hat just ain't on right I wait a minute there governor while i said it right it's a half turn left a half turn right this old cat used to be bright white I'm a strutting green and bantam rooster looking for a fight. I mean, I'm looking for a fight. Well, I went on down to Sports Park Town to put Mother Hen in a fry. I took the 450 Addison to see Polaski at night. And it's one for the money, two for the jack, three for the jewel you have to pay back. Well, I'm a strutting green and bantam rooster looking for a fight. I mean, I'm looking for a fight. Take a dusty bird now. Green and bantam rooster looking for a fight. Oh, I'm a strutting green and bantam rooster, do the thing that's right. And it's one for the money, and two for the jack, and three for the jewel you have to pay back. Well, I'm a strutting green and bantam rooster, just looking for a fight. Okay, we're here with Frank Burkett. Frank Burkett Band, we just heard uh, the version of Andrew Bird's song. We're finally going to hear a song from the album Tour, <laughs> which is coming out in the middle of March, is it? it is. And then you're going on tour Yeah. Uh, for like a month and a half throughout. <laughs> yeah, so it's our first, as a band, our first tour of Australia, um, which is really exciting. Yeah. And we do um, Port Ferry Folk Festival, kick it off, and that's where we're actually going to be launching the CD. Right. Um, launching the album there and then we do Blue Mountains Music Festival as well the weekend after and some bit of a tour of Australia and then we come back and do all the launch the album in New Zealand in April mm -hmm. and um, we've also had a bowl um, just doing Costella Festival as well right um, and yeah it's sort of we're just kind of really excited to unleash the album yeah. on the world because it's been sitting there for a long time now and and I'm, I'm really proud of it anyway, and I think we did a really good job. So, so did you self-produce it? Did you record it Not yourself? Not at all, or? no. We, we had the, the amazing talents of Jerry Paul, who's a fantastic producer. Um, he did Mel's album, Mel Parsons, oh, Mark, yep. um, as well as the Nukes as well. He did oh, theirs. yeah, we had those um, guys up there as well. Yeah, yeah. so he, he produced theirs, and, and he's just um, a fin fantastic musician, fantastic producer. And we did it in the surgery uh, with Lee Preble. So right. Lee, dream team, having Lee and Jerry like, there, it was just so calm. and. They were just 
they're just so on it and they, right and they did so well so we had a great time and because this is the first album you've done since you've been in new zealand right second so second actually one. we did we rushed out an album called fools and kings in 2015 it was uh -huh. um it was yeah and then we did an ep between then so we've actually it's, it's our third sort of release but but this is our proper album we I feel see. like you know like the first one was great and I, I have a lot of love for that too but it was we were still learning a lot i think then as a band and um we've come much further now and and then we've also you know you spend the right money you do the right thing and you spend a lot more time right when you when you make learn from your mistakes you know so i think we've hopefully <laughs> our fingers crossed on that this time you know like but um yeah, we shall see. We shall, hey, see. we shall see. So the the song that we're going to hear is the one that's been released as a single. Yeah. And it's called Simple. Simple. And it's another one you've written. Yeah, it is. This this is about. Um, it's a little bit of a a nod. I sort of a lot of musicians obviously do day jobs to kind of fund their um, their life, and um, you meet a lot of people when you that you kind of clash with, I guess. Mm -hmm. And there's this. I'll just I'll kind of keep this as brief as I can, but. But um, there's this one lady in, in my office, and, I, and you sort of make the small talk, you know? Right, right. And um, I love these people, I have nothing against them, but it just makes me laugh, because you, um, as an artist, you want to talk about, you know, your Andrew Birds and your background of, right. of jazz, or you're yeah, like, yeah. but instead, you know, I, and I asked this woman, I said, like, what are your plans for the weekend? And she, was, she said, oh, I'm going to do my uh, Kiwi accent here. This Go for is it. my lady, uh, It'll female, be better than female mine, I guarantee New you. Zealand accent. <laughs> and she was like, yes, yeah, so, um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna make some Christmas dinner. Um, yeah, we're gonna get the ladies round. We're gonna have chicken and some ham and some carrots and some. Yeah, are we having broccoli or, or cauliflower? No, it's a broccoli. Oh no, it's a cauliflower. And eventually, she kept going round broccoli, cauliflower for about sort of ten minutes, and I eventually just sort of lost my. Mind. Well, Bob, you know, considering you know the universe is expanding at an exponential rate and it's this constant fight between matter and dark matter and we don't know if it's going to implode one day or just you know forever expand and you know when you look at kind of the universe in that respect it really doesn't matter whether or not <laughs> you're going to have broccoli or cauliflower you know and like she just looked at me and just, i think we're having broccoli <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, and it's that sort of thing. But you're just so frustrated by like, you just want someone to kind of get your humor, I guess. Or like, but yeah, that's what this song I think was born out of. Just kind of you say potato, I say potato, and and it's um, that's it really. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm just happy she's having carrots. <laughs> yeah, <Anyway. yeah. laughs> Fantastic. Well, thanks for stopping by, bringing the crew around. Uh, good luck with the the album Thank and the you. tour and all that stuff. And hopefully we'll see you on the road. Absolutely. And thanks so much for having us today, Mari. It's been so much fun. My pleasure. Thank you. You 
want to cut or go in two different ways on the one rail track. Where do we go from here? You don't stress I fear where do we go from here wipe that look from your face my dear I fear I have no words to change this wreck's direction I fear I have no words to help guide at all why offer you shelter when you like it so much in the rain? Well, all I do is offer my hand and you just bat it away. Well, I want to fly, you want to walk. I want to scream and you want to talk. Oh, you're holding all the aces. I'm still taking the flack. I want to dance, you want to strut. I want to stick in you.